The SNP has been told its toxic handling of Holyrood's gender reforms has dialed back progress on LGBT rights. The SNP has set back gay rights with its gender reforms and toxic debate, claims an openly gay MP who called the Scottish party out on stage at Edinburgh's Fringe Festival. Labour MP Wes Streeting, who also labelled Stephen Flynn a career politician, had a few words to say about the issue dividing politics and his own party. Only last month, UK Labour backtracked on their commitment to self-ID and with it their support for Holyrood's gender recognition reform, GRR, bill. Now Mr Streeting says the bill failed to look at the worst-case scenarios and is a really good example of what happens if you only ever legislate with good intentions. With internal party disputes coming to light, Mr Streeting told broadcaster Ian Dale that he has also been on the receiving end of abuse when he issued an apology to a fellow MP who was targeted for her gender-critical views. He suggested that had Labour proposals at Holyrood been backed by the SNP it would have neutralised a whole set of questions that became quite toxic. However, Labour's Scottish leader Anis Sawa demanded all MSPs back the reforms that will soon be heading for court. The SNP fancy themselves as having a proud record of advancing and championing LGBTI rights while in government. Mr Streeting said he thought they have actually set the cause of LGBT rights back. He added, I've got plenty of hard criticisms to make with the SNP. But on the gender recognition reforms, I would cite their bill as a really good example of what happens if you only ever legislate with good intentions and don't legislate for the worst case scenario. The risks and challenges that are presented. Had they listened to the opposition a bit more, it would be better, and we can learn from that at UK level. MSPs were warned during the committee stage of the debate that the SNP's bill would be homophobic in its attempt to change the definition of male and female. It was strongly felt that in order to secure the rights of those who are same-sex attracted, legal sex definitions should be rooted in biology. The SNP has rejected claims that its reforms will have a negative impact on same-sex attracted people. What is Scottish Labour's position on the GRA? The party has said they continue to support the demedicalisation of the process in Scotland. This is a stark departure from the UK party who said they would not make the same mistakes as MSPs did and would keep the requirement to obtain a medical diagnosis of gender dysphoria. Labour's shift in perspective has led to accusations of too little too late and Mr Sawa faces growing criticism to break his deafening silence on the issue. His party are currently campaigning for a by-election after Covid-shamed MP Margaret Ferrier lost her seat. At his campaign launch on Wednesday, Labour's candidate Michael Shanks said he supported that decision to continue to back demedicalisation, in opposition to the UK Labour position. The Scottish Conservative candidate in Rutherglen and Hamilton West has accused his opponents of risking the safety of women and girls by backing self-ID.